Today, we're going to take a look at the brand new CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 4 dock, or TS4. This new dock has an impressive 18 ports of connectivity, the most of any Thunderbolt 4 dock, and is the only Thunderbolt 4 dock to include 2.5 gigabit ethernet and up to 98 watts of charging power. The TS4 is compatible with Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, USB 4, and USB-C computers and tablets. This dock adapts to a host computer or tablet's capabilities, providing the features available to your computer. The first thing that we're gonna do is take a look at what's inside the box. Right at the top, we have the TS4 itself, with its 18 ports that, as you will see, come with a lot of capability. Underneath the TS4, there's a quick start guide and support card in case you need to get in touch with CalDigit. There are two rubber feet included, so that the TS4 can be used in either vertical or horizontal orientation. And this design has become synonymous with the CalDigit Thunderbolt Station line of docks. Next, we have a 0.8 meter Thunderbolt 4 cable, which is also compatible with Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, USB 4, and USB-C computers. And finally, we have a 230 watt power supply. This is what will be powering all of the ports on the TS4. Let's quickly walk through all of the 18 ports on the TS4, then we can take a closer look at displays, ethernet, and power. On the front, there are full size and micro SD card readers, which are both SD 4.0 UHS 2. Having both types of card readers is a nice convenience for people to transfer their files with either type of card, and both card readers can be used at the same time. Next, we have three USB ports on the front, one USB-A port and two USB-C. At this point, I wanna mention that all of the USB ports on the TS4, eight in total, offer full 10 gigabit per second performance, which is perfect for super fast SSDs and other high bandwidth accessories. Also, the USB ports on the TS4 are for data only, so if you need to connect a display via USB-C, you can use the Thunderbolt ports on the backside. The left-hand USB-C port on the front of the TS4 will provide up to 20 watts of power, but more on that later. The final port on the front is the audio combo jack for plugging in wired headphones with or without a built-in microphone. Moving to the back of the TS4, you can see that on the left-hand side, we have an ethernet port, but this is not any regular ethernet port you would find previously on a Thunderbolt dock. This is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, which means that it's 2.5 times faster than standard one gigabit ethernet, but is also fully backwards compatible. We'll explain more about 2.5 gigabit ethernet later in the video. Next up, we have four more 10 gigabit per second USB-A ports, as well as another USB-C port. Also on the back, we have two dedicated audio ports, audio in and audio out. In total, there are three audio ports on the TS4. Only one audio output port can be used at a time, and the rear audio out is great for connecting dedicated speakers for regular use, while the front audio out port I mentioned before can be used for connecting headphones. On the bottom, we have the power port, and next to that, we have three 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 4 ports. The one labeled computer is the one you would connect to a computer or tablet device, and the other two Thunderbolt 4 ports can be used to add any Thunderbolt or USB-C devices, such as Thunderbolt SSDs or monitors. The computer port will provide up to 98 watts of charging power to your host computer, which is ideal for larger screen laptops that need more power. On the right-hand side, we have a DisplayPort 1.4 connector, which can be used to connect a DisplayPort monitor. You can, of course, connect different types of monitors to the DisplayPort connector with the use of an adapter. For example, you can connect a HDMI monitor with the use of an active display port to HDMI adapter. Finally, on the left side, we have a security lock for securing the TS4 to your desk. To connect the TS4 to your computer, you first need to connect the power supply, and you may notice that the LED light on the front does not turn on. Once you connect a computer, such as the new 16-inch MacBook Pro with M1 Max, to the TS4 with a Thunderbolt 4 cable, the LED will illuminate. As long as your Mac is running macOS 11 Big Sur or higher, you're now ready to use the TS4. For Windows users, the first time you connect a new Thunderbolt device to a Windows computer, you'll be prompted to approve the device. If you did not receive a prompt, go to the Thunderbolt software and approve the device manually. You only need to do this once and there's a link on how to do this in the description below. The TS4 is also compatible with Thunderbolt and USB-C tablets, such as the iPad Pro. Simply connect the Thunderbolt 4 cable to your tablet and connect devices, including a display. All right, now that we know how to set up the TS4, let's talk about displays. In general, Windows Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 PCs can support up to 8K resolution at 30 Hertz. And with a host connection that supports display stream compression, you can get an even higher refresh rate at 8K. Thunderbolt 3 and 4 equipped Macs with Intel processors or Apple Silicon processors, such as the M1 Max, support up to 6K resolution at 60 Hertz. 
When it comes to dual display connectivity, the DS4 supports up to dual displays as long as your host computer supports it. M1 Pro and M1 Max users can connect up to dual 6K 60Hz displays. Intel-based Thunderbolt 3 Max support up to dual 4K 60Hz displays. However, original M1-based computers only support a single display through Thunderbolt and no Thunderbolt dock can natively support dual displays on an original M1 computer. Windows users on Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 3 PCs can connect dual 4K 60Hz displays as long as the PC supports dual displays. Dual displays, however, are not possible over regular USB-C. Thunderbolt 4 PCs will support dual displays through the Thunderbolt port, but some early Thunderbolt 3 PC manufacturers have sometimes limited dual display support through the Thunderbolt ports. Be sure to check with your PC manufacturer if dual displays are supported. And if you're using the TS4 on a USB-C Windows computer, make sure that your USB-C port supports video. The resolutions possible via USB-C computers will depend on the specific USB-C port. When connecting the TS4 to an iPad, users can connect up to a single display at 4K 60Hz resolution. Next, let's talk about that Ethernet port. As I mentioned earlier, the TS4 has a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. What exactly is 2.5 gigabit Ethernet? It provides 2.5 times the performance of standard one gigabit Ethernet. One gigabit Ethernet has been around for a long time and many network and router manufacturers have decided that 2.5 gigabit Ethernet is the new standard moving forward. For some time now, there has been 10 gigabit Ethernet, which is great, but it is really intended for higher end users because of its higher price point. The 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, on the other hand, is becoming widely available on routers, switches, and NAS devices. The most common scenario is to connect your Thunderbolt dock to your router's Ethernet port for wired internet. And if your router supports 2.5 gigabits or above, you will benefit from faster performance. The 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port is also backwards compatible with one gigabit Ethernet and forward compatible with five and 10 gigabit devices as well. So if you're working in an office network environment, it should be relatively easy to upgrade your existing infrastructure to 2.5 gigabit ethernet by just upgrading your existing switch to 2.5 gigabit. Okay, so that was a lot of information, right? But the benefit of 2.5 gigabit ethernet can be easily seen when transferring a large set of files directly to a NAS device. To transfer this folder, which contains 937 files and is 40 gigabytes in size, the file transfer completed in 359 seconds with a one gigabit ethernet connection. Now, when connected to the TS4 with a 2.5 gigabit port, I am able to transfer the same set of files in 164 seconds, which is over twice as fast as the one gigabit connection. And finally, I wanna talk about charging. The TS4 offers an incredible 98 watts for laptop charging, reaching near the peak of what's possible with Thunderbolt. This makes the TS4 pretty much ideal for all laptops from the M1 MacBook Air all the way up to the 16 inch MacBook Pro with M1 Max to Windows PCs and Chromebooks. All USB ports on the TS4 provide up to 7.5 watts of charging power, except for the front USB-C port that is marked as 20 watts. This 20 watt USB-C port can be used to charge compatible devices like phones and tablets even faster and can even charge the iPhone 12 and 13 using the Apple MagSafe wireless charger. The TS4 can also provide offline charging via the front USB-A and USB-C ports and the two rear USB-A ports on the right-hand side, as indicated by the battery icon. Offline charging allows the TS4 to charge USB devices even when the TS4 is not connected to a host computer. However, there may be times when you do not want power going to a USB device when your computer is not connected. You can connect those devices to the remaining ports. So that was an overview of the brand new CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 4. This is the only Thunderbolt dock that can provide up to 18 ports of connectivity, along with 2.5 gigabit ethernet and up to 98 watts of charging power. If you have any questions about the brand new TS4, visit CalDigit's website or the links in the description below. You can find me and my tech videos at youtube.com slash jerryschultz.